Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm gonna be doing a story time on why I got fat. I went from 136 to 198 in about 10 years and I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. So my husband and I, uh, how can I put this? Had been married for nine years, about, about to hit the nine year mark and I ended up in the emergency room from pains for my gallbladder. And uh, the doc, the nurse came in and told us, so you're the, the lady that's pregnant. And I said, no, we're here because I'm getting gallbladder attacks. And she, I remember her looking at her paperwork and she said, no, honey, you're pregnant. And I remember my husband and I saw each other and we started laughing. And I said, no, you must be confused. Uh, it must be another room or something because I'm not pregnant. I'm here for gallbladder attacks. And she said, would you like the doctor to come and talk with you? And I said, yeah. And when she left the room, my husband and I were laughing so hard. And we said, she must uh, have a different room. She's confused and we were laughing it out. So no, the doctor comes in and tells us that I was pregnant. So at the same time that I was having these gallbladder attacks, I was three weeks pregnant. So at that time, I, I weighed 146 and I was about 28 years old because I had my daughter when I was 29. So... I was having these horrible attacks that I had to limit the amount of food I was eating, which wasn't hard for me because of the morning sickness and all of that. Um, so I went from 146 to 136. And during my whole pregnancy, I really watched what I ate. They couldn't do my gallbladder removal immediately because I was pregnant. And there was more chance that the baby could make it if they waited a little bit longer. So during those three months, I kept having recurring gallbladder attacks and ended up in the emergency room constantly. Um, so at the three month mark, I'm able to get my gallbladder surgery uh, and they remove my gallbladder. A lot of you have asked me if I had my gallbladder removed after my starting my keto lifestyle. No, I had my gallbladder removed what, like 17 years ago, over 17 years ago. So it wasn't because of the ketogenic diet. Um, during my pregnancy, once the doctor gave me the okay, I started exercising. I've told you guys I've always liked exercising. I have. I always have, even when I was heavy. Um, so I was at, at the end of my pregnancy, I weighed 154. So I went from 136 to 154. And for my two-week appointment, doctor appointment, after my my, I gave birth to my baby, um, I was back to 136. So, and it wasn't difficult for me. I was breastfeeding and um, watching what I ate. So it wasn't difficult for me to get back to the 136. After the doctor gave me the okay, I started exercising again. And I exercise, I loved exercising. I was doing, I don't know if you remember from the 2000s, early 2000s, the Denise Austin pregnancy video, exercise video. That's the video I would do, the Denise Austin pregnancy video, and I loved it. Every day I would exercise about an hour and a half every single day and enjoyed it, like I thoroughly enjoyed it. During my pregnancy, I would do that, and then after my pregnancy, I continued exercising after the doctor gave me the okay. So I continued exercising, and I don't think that I've been in as good a shape as I was after I had my baby, as I was after I had my baby. So, um... After I had my baby, I continued watching what I ate and exercising, and I felt amazing. Like, I felt super amazing. And I remember meeting with people that knew me, and they would tell me, that's your baby? And I would say, yeah, I was proud. Like, I never thought I was going to be a mother. Like, I never thought I was going to be a mother. So I was super proud to know that I went through the pregnancy, that I gave birth to a baby, that I was a mother. Even now when I think about it, it's like amazing to me. It's mind boggling. Anyways, and they would tell me, you don't look like you had a baby. And uh, several people told me that it was a compliment. Now I see that. But at that time, I felt guilty. I felt like, why are they telling me that? What is a mother supposed to look like? They're saying I don't look like a mother. I don't look like I gave birth to a baby. So I felt like I was doing something wrong. I felt like I was taking away something from this precious little baby to give it to myself. 
and that that was selfish. I was sabotaging myself, in other words. That's what I was doing. Um, so I felt guilty. That's the bottom line. I felt guilty and I thought, what is a mother supposed to look like? Like, what am I supposed to look like? So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop exercising. I'm going to stop watching what I eat and I'm just going to invest my time to this baby. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I started doing. I probably started doing that when she was at about two years old, I want to say. At about two years old. I just stopped. I stopped everything. I stopped eating right and I stopped exercising that I loved it so much. During that time, I did stop exercising. And every once in a while, my walk, but not intense like I was doing before. Because I felt guilty. I felt guilty. I felt like I wasn't being motherly enough. Like that time I was investing in myself, I could have been investing it in my daughter. And that's what I did for about 10 years. I allowed myself to get fatter and fatter and fatter. I went from 136 all the way to 198. And it took about 10 years to do that. But I remember I wasn't a sad, fat person. I was happy. Like I felt that strong bond with my daughter. And I still do. Um, but I was not an unhappy, fat person. I was a happy, fat person. Um, and positive and And never shied away from pictures. Never shied away from videos. And I remember my daughter hugging me and her feeling all my roles. And she would tell me, you feel so good, mommy. That's something I missed after I lost the weight. Because she would tell me, you don't feel the same anymore. You feel bony. <laughs> but that's what she was used to. She was used to all my cushion and all my rolls. And um, that's like, I remember when I decide back in 2016 that I'm going to lose weight. I didn't know about the ketogenic diet. Um, I had heard of it, but... I wasn't interested in doing it. Um, I was counting my calories. I even made a video when I began losing weight, counting my calories and exercising. Uh, and I began losing weight. Before I did that, I went all the way down to 162 and was able to maintain that for about three years before starting the keto diet. Anyways, I remember when I decided that I'm going to start losing weight, watching what I eat again the way I used to before, I had to go back to the moment I allowed myself to start gaining weight and correct my way of thinking because I always knew, I always knew why I gained the weight. It wasn't a secret to me. I remember feeling really bad that, that, I, that people might not see me as a mother. It took me that long to have a baby and then for them to tell me I don't look like a mother um, or that I didn't look like, uh, it was a compliment. I see it now, but I didn't see it that same way before. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Um, so I had to put myself back to that train of thought, the way I used to think, so I could correct it and feel psychologically corrected and to be able to correct that bad way of thinking. So I thought to myself, it wasn't right for me to start to think that way because what am I going to teach my daughter? That it's okay not to watch what you eat, that it's okay not to exercise. No, that's not what I want for her. I want her to be healthy. I want her to feel good about herself. And just because I'm taking care of myself doesn't mean I'm neglecting her. It doesn't mean that. All the opposite. I'm giving her good habits. So I corrected my way of thinking. I wish I could have done it sooner, but I didn't. That's how long it took me. So I did start uh, watching what I ate. I went down to 162 and maintained it. Um, and then I stayed like that for about three years, sometimes gaining a little bit, sometimes losing a little bit, but not as much as I had done during that time. When I was at my fattest, which was 198 pounds, and I'm only 5'3", so that was really heavy for me. I, like I said, I never shied away from pictures or videos. I wasn't a sad fat person. I was a very happy fat person. I remember feeling very happy, but avoiding the thought of thinking of my weight. The moment I started thinking of my weight, I would think of something else because deep down I wasn't happy being overweight. I was happy with life and with my baby. She wasn't a baby anymore, but I was happy with my marriage, with my, with, I was happy with everything, but not my weight. But I didn't give myself the chance to even think about it because if I thought about it, I knew I'd have to correct it and I wasn't ready to correct it yet. 
So then after that, I start, go I, I, I wish I wouldn't have gained all that weight because I think I could have avoided, prevented the, my heart condition from advancing the way it did. I am super much better than I was now, super much better, but maybe I could have avoided that bad experience in the ICU and feeling like, I, like I was dying. I was literally dying. Um, so yeah, I wish I would not have gained all that weight. Because maybe, maybe, maybe I could have avoided that situation. I think I could have. Anyways, um, I start going through my premenopausal symptoms, which are horrible if you're going through your premenopause. So I start investigating on how I can um, better them. And that's how I discovered Dr. Berg talking about body types and how premenopause isn't uh, something that you have to go through. And I start investigating on the ketogenic diet, which I had never been interested in. But um, I'm glad I did investigate on it because I am now, I'm currently at 121. I know I wanted to stay from 122 to 125. I'm going down because with the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting, if you're not on top of eating more carbs and not carbs, I don't eat carbs, sugars uh, in fruits. That's how I do it and extra nuts. But if I go a day or two without, I immediately start losing weight again so I have gone down a little more that's where I am right now and this lifestyle for me is so sustainable which is something that I absolutely love I love 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 it's it's you guys already know how I feel about the ketogenic diet and the intermittent fasting I feel amazing but that's my story that's my story on how I got fat why I allowed myself to get fat I felt guilty I sabotaged myself basically, into not caring about myself so that I could care more about my daughter. I don't regret that I'm so close to my daughter because I really invested everything in her. But I do regret during that time that I allowed myself to become so unhealthy. Um, but you live and you learn. Again, I was not a depressed fat person. I was a happy fat person. I remember I was like, I never shied away. I don't know if I told you guys from pictures or from videos. Never, never. Uh, I even remember I was asked if I could sing for my parents 50th anniversary. And I remember during that time I was at my fattest at 198. I didn't care. I said, yeah, I'll sing for the anniversary. If I can find a clip, I'll show you guys. So yeah, it was so fun. Like I wasn't a sad, depressed, fat person. I really wasn't. But I didn't allow myself to think about anything that had to do with my weight. Because if I did, then I knew I had to do something about it and I wasn't ready to do anything about it. But like I said, you live, you learn. Be positive even at your fattest. Be positive. Love yourself where you're, your starting point. Learn from it. And if you want to lose weight, do something about it. And if you don't and you're happy and you're healthy, to each his own. And if you're a mother and you feel guilty about um, taking care of yourself, don't feel guilty. As long as you're taking care of your responsibilities with your kids and giving them the time they need, it's okay to give yourself the time you need as well. So that's my story time on why and how I got fat. I allowed myself to get fat. I sabotaged myself uh, in thinking that I was gonna be a better mother. I was gonna look like the part, like a mother. like. Who says a mother has to be a certain way? But in my mind, that's how I was thinking. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, you guys, for your requests and for um, just stopping by and letting me know that you're here with your like or with your comment. Thanks so much. Hugs and kisses to all of you. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.